Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. On another episode of the Dyson Sphere program coming at you. Um holy crap, are we actually out of hydrogen? Holy crap. We're actually that's empty. That's empty. Hella frickin' Luya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, remote demand. Yeah, that'll jump up pretty damn quick. For sure. And then this is going to... Let's see, this is also local demand. Local storage isn't going to do anything. It just sits there. Um... Uh... Okay, so I need hydrogen here. I also need hydrogen where red science is happening. How are we doing on these fuel cells? Awesome, cool. That's lots and lots of energy. Uh, could probably scale another four more without a problem. Let's have to see. So my problem is red science is over here, right? And this is going to use up a fair amount of, Oh, actually, it's doing okay. Uh, what's coming off of the oil is probably what's feeding this. So that's probably not that big of a deal. I'm out of purple science. What is our problem, my man? Optical thingamadoos. Okay, let's take a swing at that. There's a Greek word, I believe it's Greek, for a city the size of the planet, and I can never pronounce it correctly. It's like Enukomopolis, Nukomopolis. E-N-U is how the word starts, and holy crap, I can't do it. Okay, what are we short on, boys? Uh, I mean, you've got everything you need. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right, it feeds through the back. Uh, the carbon tubes, I'm gonna guess, are what we're low on. So, what are we low on for the carbon tubes? Graphene, okay. Foundation? Oh, crap tons. Okay. So how are we doing here? Sulfuric acid is full, looks good. The graphene, energized, energized graphite looks good. Yeah, I think I just need some more chemical plants. Uh, another six I think will do quite nicely. Hey, perfect. All ready to go. I have a boatload of stone on me for reasons. with other objects. I mean, yeah, but it's a really, really slow collision. <laughs> but that, yeah, that has to happen. <laughs> okay, easy fix. I think I was talking to the wrong item. Okay, get all this energized graphite. Nice and, nice and used up. Uh, should increase the belt, probably. Actually, we're... S oh, I'm seeing gaps because it's also feeding into plastic. That's why. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Hi, can you do that? Uh, aside from power, I think we're good. Boop, boop. Okay, this has to get cleaned up. This is not working for me. 
That's already level three until it gets right there. And this is bullcrap. Let's just get this all to tech three. Make this a lot easier on me. Definitely the easiest way to move stuff. Just run with it, for sure. Uh, hi. You are blue. Okay, cool. That's better. Oh, and we are legit out. Hello. Uh, I would like 500 of that here, please. And we're running out of coal. How are we doing on this, boys? Not nearly hard enough. <laughs> that's what we're... That's what's happening. Okay, give me that. Thank you kindly. Something like this. What I do enjoy is right now my cat Jax is very needy. He needs face scritchins. So the neat thing about this game is I can actually play it fairly efficiently by uh, one hand. Oh, I think I found the glitch. So now I can't rotate with just the mouse hand. Uh, I was like, I can actually get a lot done. This is actually really cool. And it is really cool. And then belts. And then I'll just right click to move over here. Yeah, so I can actually get quite a bit done while I'm petting a kitty. And power. Cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one over here. Probably not. Oh yeah, I think I tried this and it sucked. Uh, I'm just going to leave that be. How about that? More miners is always good though. And that'll take care of more of the coal faster. Okay. We still need more energized graphite. Uh, I think 500 is a fair number, but let's go see how our graphite production is going. Probably not very bloody well. It's immediately destroyed the second it shows up. Uh, that is going to crystalline production. Let me guess, coal is the problem? Yep, coal is our problem. Okay, well, let's go set up somewhere else There's that there's more coal. Um, I know we have some new oil veins that I plugged in not too long ago. I thought there was some copper, or not copper, coal around there. Vertical launching silo. Awesome. Uh, if I understand, that is the thing that's going to get us to start launching some crap into the Dyson Sphere. Like the actual production of the actual thing. Okay, so there's that. Yep, doing pretty fine on oil. Yep, this is what I was looking for. I could have sworn there was something around here. I know I've got closer coal veins, but I'm going to use all of it eventually. Let's just get this going on. Uh, plug and plug. Hi. Coal... Let's say a thousand supply. I'll probably need to tap into that other coal anyway, to be honest, which is not a bad thing. I really wanted to get moving on consuming uh, some of the raw resources here so I could experiment more with, oh, nope, come on now. So I could experiment more with bringing in resources from a different planet and stuff. That's worked really well with our titanium and I'm super glad we have the silicon to go with. Come on, a little more. Thank you. That wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, I'm out of iron. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Cool. 
That'll probably get devoured immediately. Oh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Cool. The other coal vein I'm thinking of was where Red Science used to be. Right over there was another vein. Cool. Lots of raw materials there. A big pile of coal right here. Literally a stone's throw away from the other coal vein, and I didn't even bloody notice. Wow. <laughs> oh, crap. Hindsight is 2020, or something else that makes more sense in this situation. Be actually motoring through some of this iron? Nice. Uh. Wow, like, actually, we are. Uh, I think these belts are gonna have to turn into Tech 3. All this is gonna have to turn into Tech 3. We're not moving nearly as much iron as I'd like. Okay. I will deal with that a little later, though. Let's go ahead and get more of this setup. Uh, six ought to do. I'm gonna set you to a thousand. And I'm gonna set you to a thousand. This coal is a bit more high volume processing than I thought. What it might do is I might set up another logistics center somewhere else. And then literally all it's going to do is pound out more energetic graphite. Oh, that is not going to work. Uh... Looks good. Okay. That shored that up a bit. Now that we have enough coal, presumably, coming into the system. Uh, I did set that to a thousand. Let's set to a thousand. Two thousand. Why not? Uh, yep. That should hopefully slow the roll of how much of this crap I'm just moshing through. Wow. I'm going to absolutely need another production center just for that. Uh, get me another ten of these things. How are we on belts and crap? Uh, let's go get rid of some belts. Wherever those are. Here we are. <laughs> Hi. Yoink, yoink. And you can have that and that. And you can have that. Cool. Uh, I would like more ins uh, sorters as well. I keep calling them inserters because I'm a dork. Uh, you can take that. And you can take that. And I will take me a handful of that. Cool. Handles that real nicely. Now, where am I going to do another energized graphite production center? You know, considering the sheer volume of how much this is being utilized, I honestly think I might tap out of my 50 drones faster than I think. So I might just come back here and set something up. Uh, we have plenty of foundation? Yes, sir, we do. Oh, yeah, plenty. Cool. That satisfies quite well. 
Um, do I have another one to deploy? I do. Wunderbar. Um, I think this is just simply going to be energized graphite. And I'm just going to thunk right there. There's your bots. Cool. Um, so ironically... It's supplying coal, and I'm gonna demand coal here. Um, oh, you know what, let's just do storage. How much coal is here? A lot. Yeah, let's demand it. Oh, no, 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 easy tiger. Easy tiger. Stick to a thousand. And now you are going to be providing Energized graphite. Energetic graphite, not energized. Energetic. And yeah, you'll supply a thousand of this, right? What do we got over here? 800, no way. A thousand, buddy. Light it up. Now, I get the irony. I could have taken this and plugged it in here and probably gotten the exact same feel behind it because this was going to be using coal anyway. But in order for it to provide coal, I just... Yeah, this is easier. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this thing. Cool. Oh, let's see here. Ten on each side. One, two, three. Nine and ten. Nice. You are gonna do this all day long. And this is going to be incredibly simple. One line goes in. Line comes out. Oh, you know what might be a little better? Uh, since I'm, I might want two or three of these lines. Let's have it sync. Let's have it all one direction. That'll make it a little easier. So that way I don't have to do any bridge nonsense. This is going to look something like this. And like this. And then... Clean that up a little. Uh, okay, one more. What the heck? Collide with other object, yeah. Tell me about it, that's exactly what I want to have happen. <laughs> what the heck? Duh. Am I high? What am I missing here? That works. That works. That doesn't. Uh. Okay. Did I build this up? No, it's flat. Okay, let's try this. No, it just does not want to comply. Whatever, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Okay, let's get this bad boy started up. Uh, nothing would have been broken, so it doesn't really matter, but glad I caught it. Something is wrong. Aha! Knew it. That's exactly... Ah, oh, damn it, I did it a couple of times. Okay, we good now? <laughs> okay, there we are. That's much better. Nothing's broken, it's just gonna recycle back. So, literally nothing is wrong. Okay, there's a lot of dead time here, so you could easily add another 10 on this side. Cool. 
Cool. Second verse, same as the first, yeah? Uh, I'm going to need... Right there, thank you. That's a boatload of energized graphite. I think I'd like another row of 20. Oh, we actually have... Dang it. <laughs> I read that wrong for a second there and I'm like, oh cool, we actually have storage. Guess what, we don't. We do not. Okay. Let's see here, one, two, same, literally same deal. What it might actually do is I might extend this out a bit more and just completely gut the energized graphite production I have over to the right. You can't see my you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm nodding my head a little, you know, over to the right. Uh, something like that would be brilliant. And that won't saturate a line, but that'll get us darn close. 30 items a second is mighty, mighty powerful. Speaking of mighty, I need another 10 of these things. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Let's get this party started. Oh, we are running out of resources, locally. Transporting a thousand. Let's set that to two thousand. And let's hope that fixes itself. Oof. Yeah. I might need yet another supply of coal somewhere. Uh, how frequently are the ships arriving? The second they land, the supply that they brought of coal is gone before they even leave. That's nut bunnies, man. That's crazy town. Uh, anyway. Yup. And yup. And yup. Gravity Matrix. Awesome. We'll be able to work with those strange particles or strange quarks or whatever the heck those are called. Wow. This is kind of stupidly nuts. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm literally going to set this to 3000 and I'm going to gut the production I have. Oh, wait. I think I need that for the energized crystals, the diamonds, the whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll just leave it alone. We're actually staying ahead of the game for a little bit. Uh, 2,000 is where I want, and 1,000 there is fine. You can have this. Uh, I think I'm, I think I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So the thing I wanted to fix with all this screwing around was the, uh, graphene. The graphene was what I needed to fix. Oh, right. I should choose the science. Uh, the gravity matrix is the last of all the sciences. Because I believe there are five matrices. Matrices, damn it. Five matrices. <laughs> Uh, Mechacore, 
Yep, I'll deal with that in a second. Drone engine, that could be cute. Drive engine. Oh yeah, warps. Solar sail life, rate transmission efficiency, vertical construction, sorter stacking, logistics carry capacity. Uh, let's do veins utilization, and then logistics carry capacity. Okay. Now let's go take a gander at our... That's running low. Okay, good to know. Uh, I want you to store 400 of that, and 400 of that, and 400 of that. Cool. We're actually getting proper numbers. So with the graphene, that means I can make better graphene tubes, right? The tubes are better. And then when the tubes are better, that means the carbon... Uh, I, f I, f I don't know what the hell it's called. That's done. Do we, do we actually have a surplus of this? No, not by a long shot. Uh, how long do these things take to make? Eight seconds, good lord, that's a lot of time. Okay. Yep. Heck? Oh, ha ha ha, whoops. Please connect all the way. E oh, that is so close. Okay, cool. I like it. So quiet. Good deal. Cool. That should help out a little bit. Not a ton, but that should help out a little bit. Uh, let's go check on our purple science. And then start immediately figuring out green science. Wow. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, what? Uh, what? I'm out of titanium. What? Are you serious? Hey, guess what? 4,000. Um, okay. I've got some work to do. Yep, titanium is the next thing I gotta take care of. So that. And a bunch of smelters. I can only make one. Let's not do that because right here... Wow, that was bloody fast. Yeah, when I actually have the science and things are actually running somewhat smoothly, BAM! The lab setup is solid. A little too much, to be honest, and that's probably because I didn't level any of it properly. Oh, when it came down to it, I was like... Science is science is science is science. Just slap down some labs. Why are you broken? There we go. Some of the end pieces don't usually recombine uh, correctly, so whatever. Um, what was it just saying? Oh yeah, I didn't really pay attention that every single science at a different time. So like, I'm very confident I'll need three times as many labs for the greens as I needed for the purple, probably. Um, I need smelters. Give me a bunch of that. Cool. Cool. Okay. We are heading to our titanium destination, and I hit, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Uh, Echopath 2, right? Elkparath. Parathatath. <laughs> now it just sounds like I'm biting on my lip, or on my tongue. Uh, I'm gonna grab some fuel for the road. Maybe a six or a brewskis, and then we're out of here. Cool. Let's scoot. Hey, 
There we are. Wow. How fast are you going? Pretty bloody fast. Yeah, I'm going to guess that our titanium needs some tweaking and the logistics station we have here is like absolutely dry. Boop. Okay, where are we at? I thought I saw a vessel over here. Yep, exactly. Cool. How's our power? Hello? <laughs> Clicking forever. Okay, power looks great. Oh my gosh, this is the only titanium I had that I had going this entire time? Holy butts, this is scary. Yeah, no wonder why my production is not up to snuff. Because my demand at home has, like, a tripled, quadrupled, a hundredfold, I don't know, a ton. A whole ton, crap ton math. Okay. All this goes away. All this turns into Tech 3 proper cleanup. That's what's happening. There we go. Cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Is there other titanium nearby? There is. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here and do it. Oh, there's copper here. Ah, weak. Okay. Now, what I would very much like is to get this moving ASAP. Oh, uh, nuke. That's okay. No problem. Is to get this moving absolutely ASAP because I don't have titanium at home. There we go. No naturally occurring titanium, at least. Okay. Now, all this with the new highfalutin belts. Looks like that. And that. That. Not enough items. What? Whoa. Cool. Okay. And this is just going to come way down here. Way right there. And like that. Man, we are just cranking up the production today. That's all that's happening. It's literally the entire precipice of this episode has been <laughs> production. What about production plus one? Huh? Didn't think of that, did ya? No, sir, I did not. Uh, hang on. I need to see this with crap plugged in. Okay, titanium. I think I prefer doing this one side after another. I'll take care of this whole top side, and then I'll reverse the camera. And after I reverse the camera, I'll take care of the new top side. 
There we go. Yeah, that feels a little bit better to me. Push and pull. Push and pull. Push and pull. I guess I should say pull and push, but whatever. Getting this wrong is going to be tantamount to trying to push a door that's supposed to be a pull door, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, we still have plenty of raw material, and we're stocked up, right? Oh! Uh, maybe not. Maybe this will tap out all the mines. Yeah, it's slowly degrading. Uh, let's do two more, then I know that'll be enough. So, I want another one just like this. How many smelters do I have? Another 26. Awesome. So that's going to be plenty of space for the power lines. Oh, uh, that's what I want to have happen. And get rid of that. Well, I said earlier in the episode I really wanted to get more into the, hey, we're using an entire planet's infrastructure to build new stuff, yeah? I'm definitely getting that now. Um, this is going to have to combine because I don't have enough belts. I gotta run back for more belts, some more supplies, more miners, I'm sure. Uh, is there nowhere else it can squeeze another guy in here? Not... not really. I guess right there will be fine. Okay. We're good now, things are better. Okay, I'm going to absolutely tap that other supply over there. I've got eight more miners, perfect. I like it. It's GTFO. Uh, I am looking for... Nope. There we are. With all this extra energy I have in my core, how fast can I go anyway? Beautiful, 2,000. 2,000 meters a second. <laughs> Still makes me really nervous when I come in this hot, you know? So we have to steer around that. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We're... Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Splat. Whew. That got dangerous. I tried to turn right to get off of the planet, or, or I turned to right to try to get out of the gravitational pull of the gas giant, and then it just immediately sidewinded. Oof, that was a little scary. <laughs> uh. Note to self, be more careful about energy consumption and all that. So where in the heck... Okay, it's right there. Let's just fly to it so I can get on the other side of the planet. Uh, more fuel, more fuel. I have a bunch of titanium ore. Uh, I have iron. Why couldn't I make more... Oh. What are we out of? Iron ore to make more magnets. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Okay, break orbit. And just right there, buddy. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Holy crap. Land, thank you. 
That was a little on the scary side. <laughs> Oof, but we made it. No problem. Uh, for the rest of this episode, I'm going to do exactly as I said. We're going to go back, get some belts. Where in the hell is the rest of my base? We're going to get some belts. And then we're going to... I need to dump off this stuff. I don't know what to do with any of this crap. And then we're just... Yeah, we're just going to head back, continuously work on... Okay, now I know where I am. Continuously work on titanium until it is solid. Because it is not solid right now. It is very much the opposite of solid. Uh... Okay. And here's this. I'll take all that. Uh, I can get rid of some of these sorters. Oh, it was actually out of sorters? Oh, crap. Even better that we came back, and even better that I checked. Uh, yep, yeah, level twos can go away. Wait. Nope. I was not out. There we go. Uh, let's grab another line of belts. More miners, maybe? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm out of iron ore. Uh, that's stupid. <laughs> don't make, don't make components I already have. Give me that. How we now? Cool. That satisfies. Now the only problem is I screwed around with so much energy, I don't have enough to just make the trip again. Oh, let's see here. What do I need? 500 megajoules? To make it? Probably. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this copper ore real quick. Cool. Uh, screw it, let's go. And that's my guy. Let's get us to 500 and then I'll stop. Cool. Good thing I can still generate energy as I'm flying, or this would be incredibly painful. Yeah, we'll get there in no time. Burn it down to 650. I'm seeing slightly more uh, logistics vessels bouncing around, which is good. A bit more throughput, I suppose. Yeah, right there. Dead eye. Thank you. Uh, this is going to easily be 3,000. It's my only source of titanium, so I kind of figure trying to limit it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to go absolutely gangbusters on this titanium here. And... And I do something like this, and then like this. Yep, I like it. Let's do it. A 
Okay. Very good. This is going to be a crap ton of titanium. I, I honestly don't know how the heck we were managing with so little throughput of titanium. The production was low, the smelting was low, the transportation was low. Like, I don't know how we were doing it, but we were very apparently doing it. Uh, that swings out a little too far. Which means a lot of wasted belts, so let's not do that. Okay. Logistics carrier capacity level 5. An additional 100 logistics capacity. I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, we're still not needing gravity for that, huh? Uh... Let's see here. Why not? Let's do that one. So I think I figured out a way how we can trans transmit power to other planets. And the answer is the solar sail. So I'll have, like, one planet or something crank out the solar sails and just blast them into the sun right? There's that. And then I'll have other planets that have the ray receivers. And then they'll be able to absorb the rays, the, the, the power, right? Kind of makes sense? That might be a way that I could have power transference in between planets without it being traditional transference. It would literally just be, I have the capability of getting this power. Oh, just pushes me right out, okay. I have the capability of getting this power anywhere it needs to be gotten to. That's kind of what that feels like to me. Okay, this has to look like this, and then this. You good? Autosave, awesome. Good call, autosave, because I might fling my dumb ass into space, and that would be unfortunate. How's that looking? It's not quite a concentrated line of titanium, but that's better. That's way better. Okay, speaking of better. Get rid of some of the titanium ore in my inventory that I don't want or need ever. Cool. Thank you. Sort that out. Uh, good. Uh, another line, perhaps? I could actually add a few more smelters in the mix before we add a whole other line. One, two, three, four. Is that a lot? No, but it's all I had already made. <laughs> Okay. Cool. I am delighted with this. This was a very, very, very much needed improvement. And we're still we're still tapping the whole system dry. Like there's nothing there's nothing just sitting around. Once it's ordered, it's just gone immediately. Which is fine by me. Minimum load of vessels, hundred percent. I guess that makes sense. This is going to be so high volume, having it any lower doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Cool. I think I'm going to call this an episode here. Uh, I know we'll have more titanium veins somewhere. Yeah, that's another one I could peel over and smelt out. 
Uh, that, or I could just start getting with logistics bots, right? I could throw down a logistics center and just start transporting that way. I'll definitely need to do it for, like, this. These piles of stuff. Um, but anywho, yeah, let's call this here. Thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of the Dyson Sphere program is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.